What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're looking at the Panther from UDI RC. It's a little 1 16th scale brushless, call it a drift car, call it what you want. But in today's video, we're gonna get it out of the box, see how fast it is and give it a burn round. The brushless version has been out a little while now and as I was moving out my garage, I found this and thought, ooh, I better review it. So I've got a few of these. I've got a custom one. I've not quite finished building this yet. I've got some 3D printed wheels on it that I need to sort the tires out. I've got my speed build that I think I got up to about 40, 40 mile an hour. Work in progress. And I've got this one, which is completely stock that I've been robbing parts off it to fix my others. They're all brushed apart from the speed run one that I switched over to brushless. And now you can buy a brushless version. So in the box, you get some instructions. You get a charger, set of hard drift wheels, screwdriver, some um, steering links. Now these uh, increase the tow out, I believe. So when you're doing some drifting, you can put them on. It just gives it a little better. I think it just changes the handling characteristics. Uh, wheel hex and some spare body clips, transmitter, steering trim, dual rate, ESP, stability. These things have a gyro. And then this is the car. Now I'm gonna be honest with you here, this one actually looks nicer than the SG version. I just think the colors are better. I wasn't a big fan of the, it had like, the SG had a fake carbon like that all over it, whereas this one is more like the, uh, the old Hoonigan style with the tiger stripes. Looks really nice. <laughs> that rear end, definitely styled on a Mustang. Right, let's have a look underneath. So it does have light, so just be careful taking this body off. There's also a clear film over this, so if you think it looks good now, once that clear film's off, it's gonna be even nicer. 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, three wire micro servo, combined ESC and receiver in there, brushless, then a little 2435 motor. And they've stuck the heat sink on, I think. I can't see what KV it is. Ooh, that's one way of getting it off. I just slice my finger up. 3,900. And now I'm gonna sue them for drawing blood. Friction dampers, I've got some oil ones on order, so we'll definitely be fitting some oil ones at some point. I'll leave a link to them in the description. It's got CVDs at the front, it has got bearings all round, dog bones at the rear. The rear dog bones are really heavy duty looking. Right, let's get the battery charged. I wanna see how fast this is, and then we're just gonna give it a rip round on the workshop floor just realized why this one looks better than that one. one of the reasons, look at the back, look. You've got a nice diffuser on the back of this one. And this one's just a bit plain with no little LED on there. That's very nice. Should be enough space here to do it. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. Can't remember what the, I'm sure the brushed one was about 20 odd. I'll put it on the screen. Twenty five mile an hour. Right, so here's the light, so off then just plain white, white and red, or just red. I think we'll leave them just red. So a little track, we're gonna just keep the stock wheels on for now and then we'll change the drift wheels. I'm sure we'll just draw some of these tires in a minute. What way am I going? Uh, this way. Whoa, slippery. So tires, you, there's enough power to slide them out. Uh, oh, that was cool. <laughs> Definitely more suited <laughs> to this kind of uh, terrain where you've got plenty of space. Yeah, it's nice. I'm sure with a LiPo as well, this would be much quicker. A little bit more punch than with a lithium ion, but. But still, it's pretty quick. Right, let's swap them wheels round and see how well it drifts. So nothing too crazy. Yeah, it's quite fast to try and drift round here, but it does not too bad. It's 
So that is with the gyro all the way off. With it on, switch it halfway. So halfway on. Uh, it's not too bad, but I certainly, I'm certainly finding it easier without it on. It tends to have a bit more understeer, which is a bit weird with it on. Switch it off again. It seems to be, it seems to be easier to control with the throttle uh, without the gyro. Handy at a cyclone. <laughs> so, quick update these have just turned up and I fitted them. Oil shocks. It's made a massive difference. Look at that. I'll leave a link to them in the description.